So this is Sonic Forces. This is uh, what we've got uh, here at E3 this week, and we have got uh, three different stages that people can play through. We've got uh, Modern Sonic, Classic Sonic, and something called the Avatar, uh, and I'll show you guys what that is in a second. But essentially, just like in Generations, you've got Modern Sonic and you've got Classic Sonic, both with different types of levels. I'll give you little samples of each level. So you guys can see. This is the Modern Sonic level. Um, so we control Sonic. Just like we would in Generations, we got the quick step, we can jump, we can double jump, right? We got the boost, we got elements from Sonic Colors in here, and it's running on a brand new engine called the Hedgehog Engine 2, uh, which our developers uh, are working really hard on in Japan. Cool. So this is directed by Sonic Team. All right, here we go. So as we're running through here, you're gonna see lots of stuff happening in the background. I'm gonna grab these guys. So those guys, are, these are the Wisps from Sonic Colors, and they fill up that boost meter down there, and so whenever I hold the square button, it'll activate the boost, so kind of like that. Just like that, yeah. Unstoppable. This is tight. Force, right? using the force. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if we can like legally no, say that. That line for our marketing. Using the forces. Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> using the forces. May the forces be with you. Exactly. <laughs> okay. The forces. Yeah. It's the sonic forces have been unleashed. That's right. Is there that you how you could say that? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh. This reminds me a lot of Sonic Adventures. Do you guys have chows in this? There okay, so there, there's not a chow garden in this, but there might be a reference to the chow somewhere in the okay. game. That's all, that's all I'm gonna say. Okay. That's all I'm gonna say. Um, so that's that's kind of a sample of how the modern Sonic level plays, right? So very mm. much like generations and colors, things that worked well. Mm. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys real quick the classic Sonic level as well. And then we're gonna get into the third mode. And the third character, which is kind of a big surprise uh, for, for our fans, is that we are actually, for the first time ever in Sonic, we are letting the fans create their own character what? within what? the game. That's huge! Right? So That's is it just, big! Is yeah. it only aesthetic, or can you actually change the way that the character works and abilities? And it's, it's, it's both. So not only do you get to, to change what kind of animal they are and how they look and the color and what? customize them, you can change what's called their wisp bomb, which is the abilities they have. Like, how do they get through the level? What kind of stuff can they do? Yeah, it's all customized. Wow! All right, I'm gonna try not to die here. This is a little sample this of a boss battle. This looks beautiful. Sonic. Yeah, the, the graphics are amazing. Um, the team's done such a good job with that. I'm gonna try not to die. As I, I there especially we go. There love, go. like, nice. you know, it's like emulating the 2D, like, view, but it's obviously this beautiful 3D. Oh, it's gorgeous. Right, right. There we go. And so this is a little throwback to, you know, that very first Sonic boss, right? Except now he's got a spinning saw blade instead of a uh, ball. A little more menacing. Yeah, but, like, look at the, the physics on the ball, too, right? It's, it's far more realistic. Mm. There oh, we go. Boom. All right, so now you think, oh, that's the end of the fight. Uh, except not quite. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, he's, he's got a bigger one. Uh, this is the, the Egg Dragoon, which is a reference to another uh, past Sonic title. So lots of little things in here that we hope the fans are going to love. Uh, I'm going to dodge this for a second. There nice. we go. Gosh, nice. you're good at this. It's like you've Woo! done this before. Uh, I've only played this for about 300 hours. At, oh, at the 300. Don't, don't worry about it. 300. It's a small, small amount. Wow. Maybe not quite that much. All right. That's what the movie was about. <laughs> That's, this is exactly yeah, you playing the game yeah. for 300 hours. So that's a sample of the, the classic Sonic boss fight. And so I can show you guys the last one. I want, I want to get into it. Now, we've got this set up. So this is going to randomly pick a character for me when I go in. So let's see what we get. Please be good. Please be good. All right. That's, that's us there. On, on the left, is we are a... Bat girl? We are we are a purple. I think we're a cat. Wow. Looks like we're a cat. Well, that's so cool. We're a purple, purple. Cat. purple cat. Hey, purple. You know Twitch likes that Yo. color. How did you guys know? Uh, you like legit, it. Legit, hey. This is randomized, so it just happened that way. I uh, sure. And we got... Yeah. yeah. Random. Oh, Real so random. Real random. Big, big wink. Big wink. Yeah. Uh, we got two wisp bonds. This is how we kind of customize how the character plays in the level. So we got... The burst and uh, the light. We'll go with the burst. Burst. So these things, the, the wisp bonds are used uh, for two purposes. One is to attack enemies, and the second is to traverse the level. So we'll go ahead and get started here. So there we are, with our own original character. All right, perfect. Now, how many different type of wisps are there? There's quite a few different so types of, okay. uh, of, of wisp bonds, and that they all allow you right, to do a lot of different things. Okay. Um, you have more than one wisp bond? For combos? You, you can't combo them, but what you can do is swap them out in between levels anytime. Uh, okay. Or, or like replay a level. Man. Yeah, you can like replay a level and be like, oh, I want to try it you know, with this now. Let's see, here we'll go this way. Perfect. So this is like a, a Green Hill style setting, but very, very different. Wow. Uh, in this case, it's got the, yeah, the desert. Uh, Eggman's kind of taken over in mm -hmm. this game, so that's the key storyline. Beat is that Eggman has taken over the world, and it's up to you, both Sonic's and uh, your own original character to fight back. Let's go this way. Perfect. So I can use this by holding down R2. You can just kind of like unleash the flamethrower there. All right, perfect. We're gonna go this direction. And avoid those giant crab guys. You'll see in the, in the uh, cutscenes there, all, a lot of the characters from the past Sonic games also make appearances here. Um, so it's kind of got an all-star cast as far as the, the characters that fans will see. So you got Knuckles and Tails and all sorts of others. Mm -hmm. There we go. Keep running our way through here. 
Cool, and the game itself is coming out this holiday, so we're pretty stoked. Uh, Mania's coming out this summer, and we got Forces coming out a few months after in the holidays. So that's a little sample oh, Sonic of Sonic all the time, Sonic. baby. Right? Boom, right? Boom, so boom. a little sample of Sonic Forces. I'm not going to spoil the end of the level, but again, people can play it at E3 yeah, yeah, and go yeah, through yeah, the yeah. whole thing stoked. and try it out. We're, we're pretty stoked to see what people think of it and what kind of characters they're going to make for themselves. Is there any online play? Is it, can you fight other people on their creative characters? Mm, there, there will be some online components, but we'll talk more about those in the future. Okay. Oh, about right. What exactly that is. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Woo! There you go. Before we say goodbye, can we take some calls? This has been incredible.